Desk presented to you by Mount Sinai. I'm your host, Shauna Ryan, and joining us today is Dr. Michael Hausman. He's a professor of orthopedic surgery at the Icon School of Medicine. He's also the chief of hand and elbow surgery, as well as the interim chairman at the Lenny and Peter W. May Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Shauna. So repetitive use injuries, they are very common to tennis players. Can you describe to everyone exactly what they are and what are the most common forms? Sure. Everything has a limit and when you stretch it or force it beyond that, there's some injury. And so a repetitive use uh, injury is just when you're pushing a little too hard, you're trying to serve a little too fast, mm -hmm. you're gripping a little too tightly beyond the specifications, beyond what the body will tolerate. And the body talks back to you and warns you in the, and the body's language is pain. Well, what are some of the most common symptoms of a repetitive use injury? Well, if we start from the top down, uh, rotator cuff tendonitis, mm -hmm. inflammation of the tendons, or bursitis, and the bursa is a, a lubricating sac around the tendons, uh, these can become irritated uh, you'll have pain sort of in this region of the arm. Mm -hmm. It's painful sleeping on that side at night, reaching overhead or across your chest or trying to get a seat belt is painful. Mm -hmm. um, that's the most common problem in the shoulder. The tennis elbow symptoms occur on the outside part of the elbow, uh, sort of in this region. And again, gripping aggravates that, mm -hmm. particularly if you grip with your elbow straight, okay? That's, it's not pain on the inside of the elbow. That's a golfer's elbow, and we're uh, not here this week to talk about that's that. That's not where I hear about, okay. <laughs> and then the other common problem is uh, tendonitis around the wrist. There's a, a tendon that goes down the little finger side of the wrist uh, called, it has a long name, the extensor carpi ulnaris tendon. And the way players hit now with a lot of action and mm -hmm. top spin on the ball, they're really putting a lot of force on that tendon. Um, and that's a very common problem. Yeah. Who is typically uh, at risk for these kinds of injuries, would you say? Athletes, obviously, anybody else? Um, I, I think the person most at risk is sort of the weekend warrior. This is the person who goes out and thinks that they're playing against Djokovic <laughs> and uh, and they've been inactive the rest of the season and just goes out and tries to hit that overhead or hit that serve mm -hmm. as hard as possible. I think people uh, who modulate their activity gradually increase as the season progresses are relatively protected. And what are some of the basic treatments for each kind of repetitive use injury? So we, we always begin with um, rest and I think anti-inflammatory medication uh, is very helpful uh, for some of this. Uh, sometimes some massage. And then beyond that, um, uh, physical therapy is sometimes advocated uh, or a cortisone injection. Uh, and more recently, there's been some interest in PRP or platelet rich protein. Dr. Hausman, thank you so much for coming today and giving My us some pleasure. insight and help keeping us swinging on the court. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And don't forget, you can continue to check out usopen.org throughout the entire tournament for more great information from the staff at Mount Sinai. Until next time, I'm Shauna Ryan. We'll see you right here on the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai.